Hey guys, so here's a nifty little thing I picked up off Amazon. It's an anemometer, basically a little tool to measure wind speed. Um, I got it off Amazon because I'm kind of a cheapskate, and but I really wanted one of these because I wanted to see how it would fare against some ceiling fans. And then it gives a better idea of the uh, breeze they blow and how uh, strong or weak they are. So I'm just going to start off today by... Uh, using this against the ceiling fans in my house. So what's cool about this one is I can set uh, different units here. There's the back lights, you can see it better. So I think that's meters per second, kilometers an hour, feet per minute, which I think would be CFM if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Knots and uh, miles per hour. So I'll stick to feet per minute because I believe that should be similar to CFM. So. We will start off with uh, the fans in my house. All right, so the first fan we'll be testing it with will be the Hunter Adirondack 2. That's the one in my dining room. And I think after a few seconds, it should give us an average. So here we go. So I'm gonna try to keep this about three feet from the blades. And uh, we're not even at 300 yet. <laughs> So if we look at the average, so we're sitting at about 236 with the Adirondack. Kind of expected more from a hunter. But uh, anyway, we will move on to the next fan. Okay, so the next fan will be the Hunter Acela that's in my living room. Um, I expect a lot from this one because this one already feels stronger than the Adirondack. All right, so uh, yeah, here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh, it's a little hard to read on screen, sorry. It's sitting at about 511, 530. So the average, 511.8, 511.8, yep. So yeah, that's already twice as good as the Adirondack. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll move on to the next fan now. All right, so the next fan we'll do will be this uh, Seagull Lighting Celebrity Ceiling Fan in my parents' bedroom. Hopefully, and actually no, this will be the last time you see this fan in this spot. I'm going to be replacing it with something different. Just because this fan really is nothing more than, than an overglorified builder's fan. <laughs> so, let's see what it will do then. That's not bad. Actually, it's kind of sad because that's pretty much near the Adirondack. It's in about... The average is about 295 there. Yeah, that's kind of to be expected from a fan like this. Uh, but somehow it was better than the Adirondack, so I'm going to redo that Adirondack off camera just to see if I get a better result. But uh, like I said, I'm trying to keep this about three feet from the blades and not trying to keep it directly under it. That way it'll be a little more fair for some fans. Okay, so I redid the Adirondack and that had an average of 334.8. So yeah, as, as I thought, it was better than I thought. It was probably my fault for not holding it right. So the next one is my bedroom fan. This is a 44 inch Hampton Bay Cameron. Um, this was also the last time you'll be seeing this one hanging here. I'm gonna replace this with something new now. Hopefully it'll be more powerful, but I'm not sure. I'm, I'm kind of experimenting. But anyway, let's uh, get on with the test. Ooh, almost at 400 there. Yeah. See the average here. And... So it seems to be sitting at about 393. Oh, okay. Okay, it looks like it finally made up its mind. So about 393.7. Not bad considering it's a Hampton Bay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that kind of proves this is definitely one of the better Hampton Bays. The next fan, though, I expect to destroy all of them. And here is the last fan for the video. A Casablanca Lady Delta. This is the one I've had for the longest, and I have that Westinghouse light kit on it. 
This is the one in my brother's room. So, without further ado, let's see what she'll do. Here we go. Whoa. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> See what the average is here. Backlight's a little annoying on this, I'll have to be honest. 610 seems to be the average, 610.2. So, uh, yeah, kind of what I thought. I kind of knew the Casablanca would be the best. So, uh, yeah, so that'll do it for now. I just wanted to test those five fans and just do this as a proof of concept to see what you guys think. I will, uh, if it turns out to be popular and you want to see more, I will go through the fans in my display, and from henceforth, every time I review a single ceiling fan, I'll also do a test with the anemometer. Just because that's cool. <laughs> I know, I thought it was cool. So, uh, anyway, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching, and have a great day. Okay, so I know I just did an outro, and I want to apologize, because I completely forgot about this little guy, the Whalia. And it's mostly because this is the most underused fan, just because we're not out here almost at all. <laughs> Especially because it's been so humid. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what this little guy does now. This is also an extremely powerful fan, so I expect a lot from it. Oh man, we're, my, we're already level with the Lady Delta, if not faster. Whoops. Okay, so it's dropping a little bit. Try to get a level under the fan again. 629.9. That's impressive. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. If I remember right, I'm not sure if that was faster than the Lady Delta, but it's definitely on par with it. So anyway, yeah, sorry about the abrupt jump there. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I'll do this again in the future if you guys really want me to do it. I'll incorporate this with every single fan review video I do from now on, as well as a separate video featuring my fan display, where I'll just go through those fans with the anemometer. Because if I did this with my regular fan display video, it would be much longer than it already is. So, uh, yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and have a good day.